starting with part two here. Frances uh, was raised in Nordwood, Massachusetts, south of Boston. Her childhood was replete with psychic experience, including healing and being able to see the little people. Uh, of a religious bent from the early life, she entered St. Lawrence University at Canton, New York, a uh, theological school to study for the ministry. At the outset, she began to doubt theology taught, which the dean told her was merely a case of freshman measles. Yet doubt persisted, and in her junior year, she dropped out. Well, I'll go into all of this and read further details as we go, but um, she, inv she got involved with uh, people who were using um, drown uh, Abrams techniques, drown. She went and... Uh, uh, worked with De La War. I mean, this is one of the few people you can get a first-hand account of. What was happening there? What were these radionic cameras? Well, she talks about that. She talks about what she thinks radionics is, and unfortunately, um, while she can note the great um, benefits that radionic uh, did over many years of use, her conclusions, I think, are faulty, and this is what happens with all radionic people, but we need to understand that. We need to understand the fact that uh, radionics uh, is much more uh, than just consciousness. There's an interaction with technology that people want to dismiss. The other thing to dismiss, which is kind of amusing that people state this, is the fact of how important technology is, but we have to combine with it. It's amazing how we consider ourselves as humans as kind of stupid scum and that machines are so superior to us when it couldn't be further from the truth. It's really sad that we've come to this. As long as we think we are so horrible and machines are so superior, we will never evolve as a species. And it's really sad. We need to know that we created all the problems and we can solve them. And we can do this by a synergistic use of tools. And that's what it is. I would not dig a hole without a shovel. Oh, yeah, well, you don't need a shovel. Use your hands. Why would you do that? That's stupid thinking. Um, so we must understand that. We must give value uh, to the use of technology that is um, based and controlled by human consciousness and empowers human consciousness for you to find deeper answers because your mind is a sewer. So you need to focus and tools to assist you. Without using tools, you are lost. We are a culture, a race, a species of tool makers. Tool makers is what we do. So we figure out how to make tools, we then make machines with them, and these machines should never be dominating. But who wants to use our brain power like a calculator? Why not just punch in the figures and get the answer to it? Going through and having figuring out with your mind is a complete waste of time. Use a tool, plain and simple. So to think that uh, these tools are superior to you because they can figure out 150 times 2 million means nothing. So in terms of giving value to the machine, it's doing a task that you need the completed information. The completed information has absolutely nothing to do that the machine is superior because it came up with that quickly. First of all, it's a program designed by a human. Very important. But she goes into all these things. She talks about the many, um, uh, the many experience she had with her years of um, of, uh, of working with radionics, uh, both uh, powered and unpowered by all the masters, because uh, she was at that prime time just before the persecutions happened massively and uh, was able to work with these people directly. It wasn't that long ago, but it was long enough that there's few people left around that have worked with Ruth Drown, uh, Della War, and others. All these people have died, and uh, most have died fairly young. 
She talks about her tragic life and the things she went through. It's interesting how people have such horrible things happen in their lives, uh, especially if you seem to be on a positive path trying to help people. So she has a very technical background, etc., but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Those that are interested should get the article, read it, uh, download it, as I said, at our website, which we'll have a link here for. And, of course, what we're probably going to do here, as I said, with Patreon members, is we're going to go through articles um, in uh, these many magazines. And I bought these magazines and have them, and they're not cheap. I think I paid $15 and five shipping with this. Uh, so, you know, buying stuff is not inexpensive, and that's how we have to keep our research going. If we don't keep our research going and have the funds to do that, well, you're not going to get anything. And this is a problem that we finally have to come to... Um, uh, understanding that uh, this is why we need Patreon support. Now, here's the article we're going to talk about in another issue of this video magazine, ESP and Gambling. Well, that's a pretty interesting subject. We're always looking for information on this area and how we can help people. So if you're interested in seeing these video magazines and getting more details about them, uh, well, make sure that you join Patreon uh, go to our website and download. We have lots of low-cost uh, information that you can get for 50 cents to a few dollars. And you'll be able to be at the cutting edge of what was really happening and first count, um, uh, first count information from people of what was going on at that time. Not the skewed lies you get from dumb bunkers and idiot skeptics who all they do is lie and give you bad information. Or egg-headed parapsychologists who refuse to prove anything and they're just a bunch of talking heads. Here we get factual information with pictures and diagrams and people who have done something more than write a parapsychology book. I talk about mushrooms. So the whole idea is that all of these things, uh, to get this information, is a treasure. And these magazines, of course, are fast disappearing and will be lost, as so many others. But as usual, IGOS is trying to save them. But this takes time and money, and we need your support. Until next time.